Hey, over here, it's George here to do first impression of talking a bit on this game, Mario Party 10 for the Wii U. So, if you haven't heard of what Mario Party is, you've probably been living under a rock, or you've just kind of neglected Nintendo entirely, or video games on a whole. Uh, the Mario Party series, which started back on the N64, it's, <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been, you know, that long, and they're, they've hit, you know, ten official Mario Party games. I mean, there there is, what, like, three uh, portable ones that weren't numbered, or new ruled, as it were. But, yeah, in total, there's like 13 uh, Mario Party games, and it's just like, wow, <laughs> I feel really old now. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so if you ever heard of what Mario Party is... It's essentially a game that gets the Mario, uh, Super Mario characters together, uh, which include everyone from Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, DK, um, that's about it, <laughs> and all those other characters in between, like Wario and Waluigi, and so on and so forth. Um, they get them together, and they you go around, uh, you roll dice, you go around board, like a you know a board game kind of board. You play mini games in between rounds. And normally you have to collect stars, and whoever has the most stars by the end of the game wins. It's a very simplistic, uh, you know, gameplay. But what makes it really fun is playing with, all, with your friends and whatnot, and just, you know, ruining your be beloved, cherished friendship with one another over, you know, the fucker who stole your star. <laughs> so... <laughs> that's Mario Party, in a sense, and it's a very popular series, and, you know... Uh, a huge amount of fun, and then one of the cool things Nintendo is always trying to do with the series is bringing some new aspect to it. I mean, you know, there's been, like, what was it, Mario Party uh, 5, where they decided to, no, was it 5 or 6 where they decided to bring in uh, the use of a microphone, uh, and, you know, some people didn't really like it. I love that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> and then, you know, they had a was it Mario Party 7, I believe, uh, where they had, you know, teams together, so, like, a total of eight people could be playing Mario Party at once or something like that. It's just like, holy shit, that's insane. That's a lot of people. Uh, Mario Party 9 decided to do something hugely radical, uh, which definitely ended up, you know, not favoring a lot of people, but it's where they had uh, the four players moving in a single as a single unit, across a linear board of some sorts, um, trying to collect what is known as mini-stars, and whoever had the most mini-stars by the end, uh, got the superstar. Uh, a lot of people have problems with this, of course, because it's not what we've come to expect from the past, uh, eight Mario Parties. Yeah, the past eight Mario Parties, uh, and Mario Party DS also did that. Um, uh, the classic style, I should say. So, a lot of people found that very alienating. Yeah, personally, uh, I really liked it, especially when I was playing with other people. You know, it just, it brings in a bit of an element of strategy, sort of, where it's like, uh, you know, you have to kind of utilize, you know, special dice and, like, try and find ways to screw other players over and whatnot. And it just kind of made the game a little more uh, strategic, by a smidge, of course. Rather than very feeling extraordinary luck base, uh, there is more of a skill and a strategic base to it. It just brought in a neat little element to the game that wasn't really present to begin with. So Mario Party 10 comes out. Everyone's wondering, what are they going to do with Mario Party 10? What's going to be the big new thing? How are they going to utilize this fantastic franchise? They bring two new things to this. Of course, uh, the one thing is Amiibos. Amiibos are going to... Be integrated somehow into every single damn Nintendo game. I could guarantee that. That's for sure. Um, and then there is the Bowser Party, and then there's just uh, Mario Party mode, like normal Mario Party mode. So, what <laughs> is this game any good with all these? Let's talk about them. So, uh, the normal Mario Party mode is much like what Mario Party Nine was, where everyone is a in a cart, they move as a single unit, and you collect mini stars, you have little games in between it, and you try and get to the end. There's the boss battles, which I really loved uh, from Mario Party Night, so that's a neat uh, 
thing that I really like that they brought back because it just makes the game that more interesting, really, uh, <laughs> using boss battles, uh, which are just basically their own mini games, but like they don't feel like mini games. Uh, they feel like a competitive boss battle experience, so that's really cool. Uh, I personally like it. And, you know, that's the whole thing. So if you didn't really like Mario Party 9, you might not like this Mario Party as much, but I I think it's still really good. It's still, I, I love 9, and 10 just kind of makes it that much more enjoyable. Um, the next thing is Bowser Party, which is a new feature uh, that uses, utilizes the gamepad. This is a really cool idea. It brings in a fifth player who plays as Bowser. And Bowser's job is, of course, to try and defeat the other four players. The other four players are trying to get to the end of the game to get the Superstar. Um, and along the way, they collect hearts to try and uh, defend themselves from Bowser's onslaught. While the Bowser player, uh, basically, after the other four players have their turn, rolls a couple of dice to try and catch up to those players. If Bowser does, you get into a Bowser minigame in which Bowser gets a chance to try and take out as many players as he can. This, uh, even on your, on my own, when I was playing Bowser Party, it was probably the more, most fun mode of the other, other ones because it's just like, you know, you're trying to screw over four computers and like, it, I just found it a lot of fun on playing with other people is a, a heck of a lot more fun, of course. Um, really an interesting idea, it definitely utilizes the gameplay quite a bit. And just, it, it's a new experience, you know? Uh, of course, uh, if you're on the receiving end, you might find it like, wow, this is very, fuck me. <laughs> but like, those four players are working together now, so it's like the four players versus Bowser. But you, you'll find that the game definitely, favor, that mode definitely favors Bowser a hell of a lot more. Um, a final mode is Amiibo mode. Uh, this mode might be more enjoyed by people who enjoyed the older Mario parties because essentially uh, you get your amiibos which there is actually a new line of amiibos uh, more or less for this game to be honest but uh, as you can see we'll just you got there's I think only five of them right now uh, maybe a little bit more I'm not sure but I can get these all together here so there's these guys, and of course, uh, some of the ones from the Smash Brothers line of Amiibos work as well. Actually, if you notice, <laughs> these ones are look gigantic, especially Yoshi compared to his other one. Come on. Just kind of show a comparison here. They are slightly larger, only by slightly, but, you know, looking at it when I was grabbing, I was like, holy crap, these things are huge compared to the other ones, but they're not really that much bigger. <laughs> so, um, although the, although these ones do the exact same thing that those Amiibos do, uh, what Nintendo has said is, uh, the way Amiibos will work is, it, for certain games, like, for Smash Brothers, for instance, uh, to allow that one Amiibo that you place on it is meant for, will be used for Smash Brothers. If you go to use it for Mario Party 10, the Smash Brothers data that is being saved on that Amiibo gets erased. So they're like, okay, well, we'll release a new line of Amiibos, so that way people can use, uh, you know, a Mario Amiibo on both kind of games sort of thing, instead of buying two of the same Amiibos. This way it's more like, hey, you know, there's my Mario Amiibo and for Smash Brothers, and here's my Mario Amiibo for Mario Party 10. Interesting idea, definitely a good marketing strategy, of course, and we're definitely going to have a huge onslaught of, you know, demand, supply and demand going on, as we've seen. <laughs> Actually, toads are already becoming really hard to fucking find. <laughs> so, thanks Nintendo, the one Amiibo I really wanted because of Captain Toad, I can't fucking get. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, you use, the, you use an Amiibo uh, that works with Mario Party 10, and with that Amiibo you travel around a board, kind of like, uh, not like as complex as we've seen the boards, but it's a very simplistic, uh, straightforward board based off of one of the Amiibos. So there's like a Mario one, Luigi, uh, I think there's a Peach one and a Toad one, probably a Yoshi one, and I think there's a Bowser one. Um, there's only like so many of them that I know of 
uh, off the top of my head, but there's a few of them, and essentially each one's themed differently, each one has like its own uh, gimmicks to it of, of sorts. So like for instance, the Mario one, there is uh, this thing, it's called the mushroom power-up thing where you, you try to hit like a question block and like you can either get some coins, a, mega, uh, a normal mushroom which allows you to go around the board and like collect two coins from each uh, of the other players, or the mega mushroom which gets the coins from the other players, and like some extra coins along the way. It's just like small little things like that. Um, <laughs> and it you go around, you collect stars, you do mini games between rounds, and you continue on like that until someone becomes a superstar. It's a really neat mode. I personally like it because it fits the classic quota, essentially. It's what Mario Party 9 was lacking for a lot of people. Of course, the big thing is um, you ha are only strictly allowed to do uh, 10 turns, which is such an unfortunate thing because, like, you know, a lot of people would have a lot of fun with doing a couple of turns, and 10 turns really you don't get to um, enjoy quite as much. Um, I find because it doesn't give you quite as like if you're like behind by a bit because with these kind of boards It's very easy for one player to end up getting like three stars. No problem uh, As long as they're getting a lot of really good dice rolls So if you're the person who was in last place, you don't really get that Opportunity to try and catch up uh, Especially if you're not getting a lot of good dice rolls, so I I don't know like only be restricted to uh 10 turns kind of seems like a bummer because it doesn't give you that kind of ability to get a bit of a comeback um, but I mean I don't know why they wouldn't let you like choose like between 10 15 or 20 turns that kind of I don't know that makes sense <laughs> personally um, though one of the things I really like about this mode is how it stylizes it because the amiibo mode is stylized very different from the normal uh, Mario Party mode because uh, you play as the amiibos like you know th this amiibo will go around the board for you and the computers are actually like uh, cardboard cutout standees with <laughs> I saw that I'm like oh my god this is that's fucking funny <laughs> I mean it's it's very like charming in a sense and it's very humorous to kind of see so like you have like the player controlled ones going around as the amiibos and then you'll have like the standy computer ones going around, and I thought that that's a really nice touch to it. Um, and then on top of that, during the dice roll, uh, the dice can accidentally knock over uh, players. So I, I thought that's a nice little touch to it. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but it's a nice touch to it. Uh, <laughs> and it just, the rest of the board kind of just mimics a very like um, board game esque feel to it. So that's really cool. I do I do really like that. It's a nice touch to it. I really wish that mode was kind of expanded a little more um, beyond just doing 10 turns because if you enjoy the classic Mario Party that's all you get is like this amiibo mode uh, beyond that mini games uh, the mini games are a lot of fun in this uh, I couldn't find one mini game that I had a huge problem with where I was like wow this is a really cheap game or this one's very like luck based or, you know, this one hurts to fucking do, it's gonna give me blisters. I didn't really see any mini games like that, mind you. Of course, I haven't experienced every single mini game. But, uh, from the ones I, from the pool that I've played, they're all really good, really fun, enjoyable, uh, vibrant looking mini games. Uh, the boss battles are really cool and fun. Uh, mini boss battles, same thing, they're a lot of fun to play. Um, music in this, really good. Uh, overall, Mario Party 10 is a really neat game. One of the features I really thought they were going to add in this, because they decided to, well, they didn't really decide to do it, but, like, they kind of were doing it with uh, the 3DS one that came out that sucked balls, but I was surprised there wasn't some sort of online feature uh, other than Miiverse, but I was kind of surprised that... They didn't like try and do some sort of like online mode of sorts with this. Uh, you know, this is like the 10th Mario Party console wise. Uh, and they kind of haven't really, you know, 
made any progress in that area. It just seems like a natural place they would go because, you know, within the gaming world that we are in now, the way that games are, a lot of, a lot of the times people aren't, uh, don't have, you know, that kind of thing where friends come over, they sit on the couch together to play games. A lot of times people will play online with one another because it's more convenient and it's just it's readily available it's more accessible uh, and it's a quicker way for people to enjoy you know one another and have fun that's why I really like the Smash Brothers on the Wii because the online mode works so fantastically well and it's way more enjoyable uh, to play Smash Brothers like that because I won't have that opportunity to always have someone come over to play Smash Brothers with so I can play online and play against people who I've never met people who I'm friends with who are in the states or whatever you know it just makes sense so it's uh, surprising to see that there was no online feature whatsoever beyond Miiverse of course uh, on Mario Party 10 I think there that's kind of like um, a missed opportunity of sorts for Nintendo but I could I can also see why they might have not done because it it's just like would Mario Party really work online like would you enjoy playing online with someone going around a board playing mini games would the connectivity would like everything work the same as it would if you're playing next to someone on the couch so I can definitely see maybe there's probably some problems with it um, maybe it's too ambitious or something like that I don't I'm not too uh, you know well know well verse about how that whole process works of course but I will say for certain that you know it feels like that is a missed opportunity to not add at least something there even though it's not like playing a full game of Mario Party uh, why not just have something where you can play the mini games online or something like that with other people or like you know game or like a bonus game that's designed to play be played online or something like that like you know mini game challenges or you know they have like all these different challenges or like bonus games that you can play and it's just like I'm looking at like going you could have done something with this idea I'm not saying you know give me the entire Mario Party experience online I'm just saying like something would have been nice or you know at least an attempt to see that you guys are at least testing the waters with this concept with an idea to perhaps perfect within the next game or something like that so to see that not really being touched at all is a bit is very disappointing but overall Mario Party 10 if you can get some friends together you'll have a blast if you're playing this by yourself you'll still have a lot of fun the computers are still enjoyable to play with and offer a challenge but you know this game is definitely meant to be played with people, other people, together, you know, on the couch, obviously, because Nintendo's neglecting online. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about Mario Party 10. Uh, there's only two unlockable characters, which is also a bit disappointing, um, which are Toadette, of course, and uh, Spike, which is, like, one of the enemies from uh, Super Mario 3D World, which I really didn't expect to see, but that's pretty cool that they're at least uh, giving some random enemy kind of his own chance to shine in the spotlight. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't remember what Spike is, he's the one that, like, barfed out that, like, log of spikes and tossed it. So, you get to play as that character for some reason. Because <laughs> everyone really liked that character, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah a few bizarre things but overall it's an enjoyable game they utilize a lot of uh, like the gamepad really neatly with the Bowser mode uh, you utilize the amiibos in an interesting way that definitely will please older uh, you know fans of the series so overall it's a good game definitely give it a try pick it up get your buddies and pals together and you know have a night where by the end of it you be at each other's throats <laughs> So, um, yeah, with that all said and done, until next time, keep on gaming. <laughs>